this generation is very desensitized. You almost get this sense of like, um, I'm untouchable. But I think I think it's because the NBA has an image to upload. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. so that, that makes sense now why they're saying it that way. For those who may not know or who may not follow uh, basketball like that, um, uh, Memphis Grizzlies, um, John Ramant, John Ramant, John Morant, uh, uh, he not too long ago, uh, was posted on his, I think his Instagram live or something where, uh, he had, uh, a weapon out and, uh, for the lack of better words, and, and you can correct me and kind of fill this in, fill the blanks in, uh, was kind of like just flaunting it and, um, carrying himself in, in such a manner that not only does the NBA not, uh, deem uh, you know uh, appropriate, uh, but we would just say in general um, is just not a wise thing, especially with how many people have been like shut down and arrested and everything else, um, you know, for doing similar things like that, man. So, can you give us any kind of uh, thoughts into that situation um, from your perspective as to where God has you, but then also uh, as a Christian as well? Um. I, I want to start off saying that John Morant is pretty young, if I'm not mistaken. He's anywhere between 19 and 22, somewhere in that range. Yeah. And with that being said, um, this this generation is very desensitized, mm. right? So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start there. Um, rather it have been social media, rather it have been the media, rather it have just been life overall. Um, they're very desensitized. And what yeah. I'm realizing is um, a lot of things that they feel like they can do may not be the right thing to do, right? Mm. Um, yeah. So in his situation, of course, I can't speak you know, to exactly what he has going on because I don't know him personally, whatever the case may be. Right, but right. I've, seen, I've seen cases like this where, you know, you know kids may have been the superstar basketball uh, uh, player on the team and you know they they fall to being a product of their environment yes or they fall to um having to give off an image um that they feel like they have to give off right yeah um and let's let's bring this home if you know christ right you don't have to worry about giving off an image because you can hide behind the cross Mm. Right. So I don't have to worry about flaunting. I don't have to worry about living this way. I don't have to worry about living that way because as long as I'm pleasing to Christ, as long as I'm pleasing to God, I know that I'm living the right way. Mm. So um, I just pray that he can, you know, come. First of all, I'm sorry. Let's, let's get him around people that's going to, you know, encourage him. Right. Yeah. And, right. and, and give him the, the right um, direction because even the people that's with him in that video should have been saying, Yo, you know, you probably shouldn't be doing this, yeah. right? right. <laughs> so if those, are, if those are real friends, you probably shouldn't be doing this. But nevertheless, um, just pray for the young man. I hope that, you know, he can um, uh, re regain the image because it's going to be hard to reestablish an image uh, in front of everybody once you've done something like that. Yeah, and I think that's a good, definitely a good note to to make there with about the people there should have held him accountable right then and there as he was trying to do it. Yeah. But what ends up happening is, and, and this is kind of where my thought really is, is especially when you're going from, I mean, that's a lot of publicity, right? That's that's a lot, like we, we know we were not meant to be worshipped. And, and uh, when you get, I mean, shoot, you get, a hundred likes on something, you'd be feeling some kind of way. You know <laughs> right. what I mean? <laughs> right. Um, and so when you go from what these kids and they are kids, they are still kids. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. What they, what these kids are used to and how they've been brought up and how they've been in the limelight. And then you get to NBA. That's a whole different kind of staging, you know, that, yeah. that you've ever been on. So you almost get this sense of like, um, I'm untouchable. Right. I think, mm. I think from that situation, what I saw or how I see situations like that uh, with certain people who I'm like, well, that might have been something that you probably did do on your own time or maybe that's kind of like who you are like on your own time or whatever. Mm -hmm. But 
you have reached a point where now you feel like you are untouchable. Now you feel like I can do this because I am this person. Right. right. Uh, right. It's, it's, it's similar like with Kanye, right? Kanye mm -hmm. thought that as many years as he's been wilding out and doing certain things or whatever, that he could just continue to go that way. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. Just, literally kept saying like no it don't matter if adidas drops me it don't matter like i can do this and then like all of a sudden people were dropping you know like flies from them and it's just right, like, uh -oh. right you know what i mean so mm -hmm. i think i think that i think that's important i think um having people around them is is definitely uh it, it important as well um the way that i've been hearing it and seeing it um has almost sounded like he like for real did something uh, in, in terms of like, you know, shoot somebody or whatever, like the way they're speaking yeah. almost kind of sounds like, you know, he's like in rehab or whatever. And I'm like, okay, like I get the intensity guys, because he is, right. he is the face of that team. Like I, I get it. Right. Um, but at the same time, I'm also like, yo, um, can you guys chill out and, and not make it sound like this dude? <laughs> like So bad. Right. <laughs> right. But I think, I think it's because, the NBA has an image to uphold. Yes. Right. right, right. And now this is a represent, representation of us and um, you're doing such things and what's going to end up happening is oh, if you can get away with it, well, this person can get away with it and then that person can right. get away with it. So, um, yeah. and then plus the NBA is, you know, considered a family, you know, uh, viewing. So if we're uh, introducing you to this person and you yeah. follow this person and now he's doing such things. Um, it, it's a stain on our image. So uh, like someone mis mentioned in the chat, they were saying that he's in counseling now. And um, when I heard he was in counseling, I'm like, counseling? He, what, what, did he, what did he do that bad that he's in <laughs> counseling? But he's in counseling. And, <laughs> and, and hopefully, that, you know, that can help rectify the situation. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think that was all well, uh, well said, man. I I agree. I think, yeah. uh, I think what I what I like is that yes, that the NBA seems like they're though that it's also for themselves. Seems like at least from the announcers and everybody else that they actually do care, um, right, ab about him. Uh, yeah. But um, oh, here we go. So I was asking Nisha because she was saying something in the chat. She said that he allegedly uh, beat a um, seventeen year old Ooh. and asked. Uh, was asked by the standard uh, standards was asked the bystanders if he c should keep going and keep doing it and brought a gun from inside and out and to wave it around. So okay. Oh okay. 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 So that that makes sense now why they're saying it that way. He pulled up mall security uh, because he didn't like the way that they talked down to him. So okay. So yeah. So kind of like what I was talking about. It, it was kind of like this untouchable, right? He felt yeah. He felt untouchable. People were egging it on. So it still goes back to what you were saying. Get some people around him that will actually hold him accountable and will yeah. uh, be able to encourage him and lead him in what it is that he needs to, while at the same time um, being held accountable by the NBA and everybody else, which, again, I agree with you. Like By them basically putting their foot down and saying, hey, look, we're not going to allow this, it made it very clear to everybody else, like, ooh, okay, we can't, we can't get away with that. Because let's... Let's be honest. NFL has allowed some stuff for a lot of different times. <laughs> and, and that's how they've ended up in the situation they've been in. So, yes, I agree. Hey, if you liked any of this content and you found some value in it, make sure that you like, subscribe, and, of course, share it. Also, if you're interested in some more, go ahead and check out these videos. Till next time, grace and peace. Adios. Adios.